Welcome to Spidell's Federal Tax Minute. I'm your host, Katherine Zidane, and this week we're talking about the SECURE Act and how it changes the inherited IRA rules. We'll be covering all of the most important tax law updates at our 2022-2023 Federal Tax Update webinar in January. To see a list of topics and get registered, go to spidell.com and click webinars. The SECURE Act was passed into law on December 20th, 2019, and it contained numerous retirement account changes. One of the most prominent was that it fundamentally altered the rules for inherited retirement accounts by eliminating the stretch IRA provisions for most non-spousal beneficiaries. In early 2022, the IRS issued proposed regulations that focus mainly on the new rule changes for required minimum distributions, or RMDs, and inherited account provisions made by the SECURE Act. The proposed RMD regulations have raised concerns in the tax community, mostly due to the provisions that require annual distributions from some inherited accounts. The proposed regulations contradict the plain language of the SECURE Act, which gives most beneficiaries 10 years to distribute the funds from these inherited accounts. Also, the proposed regulations apply to accounts inherited after December 31, 2019. This means that some beneficiaries who inherited IRAs in 2020 could have been required to take distributions for 2021, but didn't. The pre-Secure Act rules for inherited retirement accounts applied to accounts owned by taxpayers who died before January 1, 2020. Under the pre-Secure Act rules, certain designated beneficiaries were allowed to take distributions using their own life expectancy, and there was a five-year rule for other beneficiaries. Under the five-year rule, the entire amount in the IRA had to be distributed no later than December 31st of the taxable year containing the fifth anniversary of the account owner's date of death. No amount was required to be distributed until the fifth calendar year, but all of it had to be distributed by the end of the fifth year. Under the SECURE Act, for accounts inherited from individuals who pass away after December 31, 2019, fewer beneficiaries can use the life expectancy rules, and the five-year rule was modified by substituting 10 years for five years. Most practitioners interpreted this to mean that beneficiaries of defined contribution plans, including IRAs and some government plans, have to distribute the entirety of their inherited account by December 31st of the taxable year containing the 10th anniversary of the account owner's date of death, unless the beneficiary is an eligible designated beneficiary. Eligible designated beneficiaries are allowed to distribute the inherited account over their own life expectancy. Under the proposed regulations, beneficiaries have to continue taking RMDs each year during the 10-year distribution period so that the entire account balance is distributed by the end of the 10-year period, if the deceased account owner had reached their required beginning date for taking RMDs at the time of their death, and the account beneficiaries are not one of the five types of eligible designated beneficiaries. This is a huge departure from how most practitioners and tax commentators believe these distributions work. Many of these tax professionals provided comments on the proposed regulations, so it's possible they'll be changed before they're finalized. If the regulations are finalized in their current form, clients who expected to wait until the end of the 10-year period to take any distributions will find themselves with missed RMDs. These clients will be forced to take the missed RMDs and file Form 5329 to request penalty abatement for the missed distributions. Keep in mind that the IRS typically abates penalties for taxpayers who miss their first RMD, and we expect that to be the same for these taxpayers. But because there was so much confusion around this provision, we also expect guidance from the IRS to provide a streamlined process for taking those missed distributions and abating any penalties. We'll keep you posted as news develops in this area. We cover the SECURE Act and other new federal tax laws in Spidel's Federal Tax Letter. For more information on this monthly publication, go to spidel.com and click Publications. That's all for this week. Join us next time for another episode of Spidel's Federal Tax Minute.